All right, this is my beauty layer. And after you get done staring at these for a, a little while, you'll know which one's which. Like this, I know, is my ambient occlusion map. I know this one to be my beauty map because it's got everything in there. This one is my diffuse, which now has this huge stupid bump in there. Uh, this one is my specular, I want to say, or lights. Uh, then another beauty pass because they love making beauty passes. This one's an unused map. Didn't have enough information on it. This one has to do with ooh, shadows, I want to say. And this is my baby specular. Okay, so the most important one is this. Um, ambient occlusion, specular, and diffuse. Okay, and I'll show you why. My ambient occlusion map, if what I do is just set that to overlay and the two come together to form this and my diffuse for my shadow information. And this is the shadow information that gets tucked down into between the two. So I can turn this down if I wanted to, but it's important. Next, I have my second most important map, which is my specularity which now I can turn that on to something like, ooh, let's say linear light, or hmm, how about linear dodge? Yes, linear dodge. So now, specular off, specular on. Now the rest of these maps have to do with the beauty of it, and some are not even needed. Let's take this one for example. Okay, what I can do here is probably use this as a soft light, but it's going to be really dark. Overlay, dark. Soft light, dark. But if I do like this, I might be able to get a halfway decent, um, maybe a little bit of soft shadow in here. So this is without it, with it. So a couple unneeded maps, but these are probably by far the most important ones. And the whole thing is, is I never liked the first thing to begin with because it had a reflective wall. So now I got to choose what was reflective and what wasn't reflective by just turning that off and compositing it to my liking. All right, so that is render passes within Maya and how to get them into Photoshop CS4. Uh, CS4 handles the IFF quite well. CS3 might have a little bit of problems, but on the content disk, there is a plugin that you can install for CS3. All right, enjoy the workflow, and on to the next buoy.